Kanye, has, a ch has he started a church or what's going on? Because I see that there's a church now that he's going yeah, to Yeah, we regularly. didn't really have a name for it because it's more of just a healing experience. It's really uplifting and you feel excellent. We have so many friends that maybe feel a little too judgmental when they go to church. You pray to Kanye or to <laughs> God at this church? There's actually, there's no praying, there's no, no praying. sermon, there's no word, it's just music and it's just a feeling. Oh, but it's I... Christian. It is. <laughs> what do y'all think? Did that look like the eye of horrors or no? Um, somebody's saying nothing that created is, was coincidental. That's something. Um... Okay, so let's, let's talk about that. He didn't make that without mm -hmm. something. This is what I'm saying. This is why it wasn't intentional. Because I know what the original design was. The original design, the part wasn't even supposed to be set up like that. Could it be that Kanye's intentions are pure, but other people are not? Boom. That's a possible, that's why we got Phil. Now right. he's, he is. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Last week somebody told me, how dare you make a positive reference to that rapper Nipsey Hussle? Then you listen to his music? Pastor, I know he did great works, but he cussed. How dare you say something positive? He cussed. I accept my worship, my way, and I grow in power. The choice is yours. Evolve or die. Why is the standard so low for this generation? When a guy like Nipsey Hussle can become an icon, the standards are very low. He was a modern day Nino Brown who lived the lifestyle of a gangster, got rich rapping about murder, sex, and drugs. Yet because he gave back to his community, he is lifted up as a role model for this generation. But the man who works a job every day and provides for his wife and family is not celebrated anymore and even deemed unnecessary by our feministic society. What happened to our world? Well, give me a few minutes and I'll tell you. Remember the story of the Pied Piper, how he was able to lure the town's children away from their parents with his music? Well, the same thing has happened in our communities. Music has totally lured this generation away from what is really important in this life. Their hearts are filled with covetousness and desire to be noticed instead of self-denial and truly caring for others. They have no interest in God's church and no respect for God's chosen leaders. How can they respect pastors or teachers when they have no respect for their own fathers? Churches are losing their youth in droves because they are turning to false gods, false ideologies, and false doctrines trying to find true purpose and worth. Because their fathers abandoned them and did not show them who they were, they are now Googling and searching YouTube to find out who they are. They are adopting racist beliefs, false scientific studies, and erroneous stories that denounce Christ and the Bible altogether while trusting the elitist internet answers, which are mostly skewed and agenda oriented. They want nothing to do with Christianity because the ones that neglect it and abandon them name the name of Christ in the process. So while the parents were in church focused on themselves, children were in search of another way because they hated the way Christians made them feel. While the parents were using church as a place to show off and be lifted up, hip hop had the attention of their children. While the church was building large facilities and adopting society's parenting norms, hip hop had their children. What we are seeing now is a result of years of planning by the devil. Look, I traveled the world for 20 years warning the church that this day would come, but so many ignored the message because they deemed the loss of the youth as normal. Well, here we are. Kanye West is redefining church and your kids want his vision. Church with no preaching, church with no conviction, church with no standard, church without God's spirit, 
a form of godliness with no power to change anyone. Kanye is the Pied Piper. He got fame from producing the song Lucifer for uh, Jay-Z, and now he is emulating Lucifer. He refers to himself as a god in many of his songs, and he has even mocked the crucifixion of Christ. Kanye sold his soul to the devil in his video drama Runaway, and even manifested a demon at the end of his song, I Am God. He even joined with French Montana to combine the Bible with the Quran on a song collaboration. He uses vile language, promotes sex and lust and all kinds of hedonism in his music, and yet on Sunday he is leading worship in the name of the Lord. Lucifer in heaven desired to be lifted up in Isaiah 14 and 11 with his musical ability higher than God's word. And now Kanye is establishing the same thing, church without preaching. But God established the church to teach, not entertain. But with a music-only church, you can be unrepentant, unbelieving, uncalled, with no self-denial. Kurt Franklin initiated this concept by promoting the loss of his religion, performing with Kanye and Chance, the rapper, basically giving them the green light to proceed, never challenging their lyrical content, their lifestyles or behavior, nor their desire for fame, but instead he exonerated them and pushed their agenda. Because the church was asleep, the Pied Piper came in and got their children. Kanye even assembled the members of his church-like group into the shape of the Eye of Horus or Third Eye, covertly giving honor to his God, the God of Self, Lucifer. No doubt Kanye is confused and misguided. His wife Kim even praises his church idea and stated that this is the way church should be. No preaching, no judgment, just music and good feelings. Wow, how things have changed in our world. But it's time for the true preachers of the gospel to take a stand, not against Kanye, but a stand for their homes and their own children and their churches. It's time to stop the campaigning for positions, the chasing of titles and fame, and the desire to be wealthy at the expense of compromise. Pastors, if you do not heed this warning, God will judge you and your church, and you will pay dearly for your defiance. It's time to repent and go back to your first love, Jesus and feeding his sheep.